Hello, faithful friends of the internet. I'm Jason Mayfield, and today I want to show you one of my favorite things in the studio. In 2021, I made the jump from YouTube to television ministry, and that meant that I had to build a television studio in my house. Outside of the camera, audio, lighting, and the set build, I included two things that have been incredibly helpful to my presentation on the show. The first thing is my Proxon pulpit, which you can check out in another video. But in this video, I want to show you the Vibe Smart Board. Before I get started, I do want to let you know that you can save $150 on your Vibe Smart Board by using the code Jason Mayfield. That's no spaces and I before E. They're going to give me an affiliate commission as well. So that's awesome. First things first, the Vibe board is natively a digital whiteboard, which is how I use it most days. After having it in my office for a while, I started using it to think through projects and tackle creative problems. Though the primary reason that I purchased the Vibe Smart Board is to help me teach the Bible. Most of my preaching includes a little exegetical demonstration with the text. I was having trouble finding a way to do this on camera or on stage that looked clean. Sure, I could use an overhead projector, but it just didn't look good. The Vibe Smart Board solved that. And I wanna show you my process for getting a series of scriptures like this on screen so you can write on top of the text. Step one, create your presentation. Using the presentation or design software of your choice, create a presentation appropriate for the Vibe Smart Board. Step two, export your presentation. Once you've completed your slides, export your presentation as a PDF. I use ProPresenter, which doesn't have the ability to do this. You can export a PDF, but not like we're needing. If you're using software that also lacks this feature, you can export your slides as images and combine them into a PDF using Adobe Acrobat. Step three, save to Dropbox. I found that Dropbox is the easiest way to transfer this PDF to the Vibe board. I always include Vibe in the file name and put the presentation inside a Vibe folder so it's always super easy to find. Step four, import the slides into your Vibe smart board. From the tool palette, select the box with a plus sign to add an element. Obviously, we're going to select Dropbox. Using the search bar, I type in Vibe, which brings up all of my Vibe Smart Board Ready documents. You can also use the Vibe Canvas app to create your new canvas and import your slides directly from your computer. Step five, go into presentation mode. In the top right corner of your Smart Board, you'll see a play button. This activates presentation mode. Press and hold the play button until your slides zoom to full screen. Pressing and holding both zooms and locks the presentation. Note, the Vibe Smart Board also has an HDMI output that will allow you to display your canvas on your iMag screens or record an independent feed of the canvas, which is what I'm doing in this video. Once you've got your presentation set up, you're ready to start teaching. Using the tool palette, you can select different colors and markers. So let me quickly just show you kind of how I use it. Uh, what I do is I put obviously these scriptures up on the board when I'm teaching through the Bible. And then on top of the text, I'll use these markers, which you're gonna want a, a bigger marker when you do this so people can see it. Um, also, by the way, you don't have to do the text this small, but I like to use big portions of text, so that's why it's so small. You can obviously design it however you want to. But I use um, the marker to show different things in the text that are connected and draw out some meaning, some context, uh, really just kind of do a, a exegetical demonstration is what I call it. I'm showing you my exegesis right in front of you. And um, there's another thing that I do, which if you wanted to do this, if you're teaching more teaching teaching and not uh, like a, you know, a topical teaching and not really tearing through the scripture, you can take uh, design slides. You could do this in Canva. I did all of mine in Adobe Illustrator. And you can go in here and you can do fill in the blanks for people. So um, the motivation to win. I actually don't know what I was teaching here, so I'm just putting win in. And then you just want to make sure that when you're in certain uh, uh, slides that you do the right color, certain colors that you use better colors to write things in. And then, you know, you can do this all kinds of ways. So I have one here that's really colorful. You know, again, the freedom to win, or we go down here and we want to make sure that it kind of matches. And then I put some, some room for notes here. So if I want to 
um, put something on the screen. I can put something on the screen and we can talk through it and do different odds and ends. So that's kind of how I'm using it on a regular basis. Now I'm using the 55 inch model, the original. It's plenty big, but if you want something even larger, Vibe just released a 75 inch version that is massive. So if you wanna make a statement, go for the 75 inch. One of the most beneficial features of the Vibe Smart Board is the size of the company. This isn't Samsung and it isn't Google, meaning when you reach out, the company hears you. In fact, many of the features I've shown you in this video were implemented into the software at my personal request. When you purchase a smart board from Vibe, you're gonna be able to reach out and get real solutions and real results from the corporate team. The Vibe Smart Board has been an invaluable tool for my television show, and I'm certain that it can be a helpful aid for your sermons and classes as well. I'd like to know how you can use the Vibe Smart Board. Drop your ideas down in the comments. And until next time, I'm praying that you continue to experience grace for life through Jesus Christ.